Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kryn. I'm Baron and apparently 4 additional hit points is the maximum that I can get for Kobe Tai for leveling up from level 2 thief to a level 3 thief. So let's begin with entering. Um, we should actually leave I guess. And return to throttle. This time we don't get attacked. So that is the area. Looks pretty confusing. A man gibbering with fear stumbles into view. He cries out in anguish. Caramon, where are you? Look out! Above you! It's a trap! Oh well. You record the rest of his speech as journal entry 38. Hmm. They're back! Back there! Who? Look out! No, no, no! I stepped one, but it took my sword! I couldn't get it out of its body! Caramon! His eyes clear for a moment and he becomes more lucid. Listen to me, he says. They have captured Caramon. Most of our party has been wiped out. He suddenly jerks about. What's that? Get them! They've got Caramon! Find him! I'll find him! North, north and west and south! Traps! Back up! Go back now! Quiet, quiet, quiet! Look out! Above you! Oh no, no, no! He gets a sly, slightly mad conspiratorial look on his face. I saw a money chest in a room to the east. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. He looks around and leans towards you. You wanna help, huh? What do you say? The terrorized look comes back. He screams and gasps in terror. Okay, he's not much of a help. Let's move on then. Voices echo nearby. Miltani's plan is about to... What do you do? Mm, we eavesdrop. Axe in the temple. Death knight. Conversion. Ambush. You are discovered. What does that mean? You delay. You... Uh, God. You move one step ahead. And... Um, God. You stay where you are. You yell. Looks like everybody wants to kill Kobe Tai. Well, you're welcome to try. You move ahead. And, um, God. You move ahead. And, um... Delay a bit. You also delay? Okay. Fine. Throw a few dots then. You delay. Thank you. You cast the sleep spell here. That's not too nice. You cast the sleep spell here. Who is helpless? Uh, no. You move. No. Move. 
So we have you. Very well. You delay a bit. Can you cast another sleep spell? Yes, you can. Then cast it in here. Yes. And it uh, looks like the last um, Hobgoblin actually surrendered. What did we take? Money. 10 steel coins. What else? Um, we don't need anything else actually. No. How about we encamp and fix? And uh, save, of course. Very well. No leave. Thank you. Once this attack, shit. The mages actually come through here. Maybe Kobitai should insult them. And you're dead. Killed by the white mage. <laughs> and she didn't use a spell. What could we take? Uh, nothing. Let's move on then. A broken swords and armor indicate the remains of a battle. You recognize the heraldic device of a Salamnic knight. Uh, try to pick that. It works. A cleric is opening a chest. He's under the minion's attack. Really? Really? Sarovites doesn't do anything right now. You delay, you delay. You yell. It only affects the cleric. 
Randy Spears delays. Sylvia Saint, being a cleric of Magia, should try to turn the undead. That didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Shit. He starts casting. Rekaldorian is held. You cast the magic missile on him. You try... Shit. Okay, you change your weapon, my friend. Put away the longsword. Use the mace. Fuck it. Manual. You cast the magic missile on the cleric. You try to turn them too. You have your maze equipped. You cast the magic missile on the cleric. And he's dead. You have a maze and you're going to use it. Fine. Move a step closer then. Ex exit. Move. Thank you. Let's take a look around. That's good. Hmm. You're too far away to use that. I understand. And we're victorious. And you know the difficult part was nobody should attack Rekal Dorian all night because she's helpless. The first hit would have at least uh, knocked her unconscious, maybe even killed her. So always try to avoid that. But I think we managed. We get 503 experience points. Um, what could we take? Money. 200 steel coins. Yes. I want that. What else could we take? Okay, let's wait a second. You detect magic. And take a look around. Ah, oh, see, the shield is magical. So you take the shield and you take... Uh, you sh should have taken the shield, not the potion. You take the scrolls. Wait, is that chainmail? That is chainmail, that's even better. So, uh, he now has an armor class of 2 because he uses scale mail. First of all, you trade that with Sylvia Saint. And I use chainmail, that means you have an armor class of 1 now. And if you're ready, that magical shield 
Ah, it's not cursed. Very good. We have an armor class of zero. So we can drop that shield. Why do you only have 80 arrows? I thought I gave everybody 100. Oh, maybe I did not. Um, anything else to take here? That's not magical. So, but now Randy Spears has an armor class of zero. That's good. This looks like a safe place to rest. I like that. How about we encamp then? And um, do we in exit? Do you need to memorize spells? Yeah, you use the detect magic. You get your spells back. Thank you. Let's rest then. Okay. How about we save here? And exit. Some clerics and hobgoblins attack. Others run through the wall in the southwest corner of the room. What do you do? We attack. Holy shit. How about you cast the sleep spell right in here? You should also cast a sleep spell in um, here. Very good, the cleric is asleep. Oh, you should actually get your sword back. And we're victorious. What do we get? More chainmail. That's something Sylvia Saint would like. Uh, where is it here? Okay, both Randy Spears and Sylvia Saint now have an armor class of zero. As you enter, someone is leaving through the west door. The party has found treasure. Each character receives 1391 experience points. That should be enough to level. You take jewelry. Three. Gems, 5. Steel, 250. Okay. 
So, well, 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 there's a door here. The door closes behind you. There's no door on this side of the wall. Really. Let's take a look at the area. Okay. So, let's go to the south then. And here we have the exit again. So, we could return to the outpost. First, go to the armory. Do we have anything to sell? Yes. Why do you only have 80 arrows? Oh. Join them. You, you don't have a... Why don't you have a bow? Didn't I buy you a bow? Oh. Hmm. Pull it. <coughs> Much better now. Uh, you could ID that potion. It's a potion of healing. You could ID that shield. It's a shield plus one. I don't really know whether they can ID the cleric scrolls. Let's try that after we saved. What else could we do? Or we could try to appraise. Oh, we have to take it apparently. Fine, then take it. Five gems. So, we appraise... You have a fine collection of five gems and three pieces of jewelry. This gem is valued at 50 steel. We sell it. This gem is valued at 500 steel. Five steel, 500, 250. Oh, we can't get all the money, apparently. Three pieces of jewelry. Ooh, 1,233. Hell yes. 309... 3,125. That's a lot. Okay, so you take the money. Ooh, 4,760. How much can you take? 1,000? Yes. Another 1,000? Yes. Oh, overloaded now. Fine. How about you take some money? Overloaded. Zero bytes. Overloaded. She takes it all. Very well. Let's go to the the vault. We will store money for you. We will only accept money in the lots of 100 steel pieces. There's a processing fee of 20 steel pieces. Okay. How about we deposit money? You can deposit 6,400 6, steel pieces. And we will deposit 6,400 then. The problem is steel as a currency is very heavy. So, you don't want to carry around all that steel with you. Okay, and um, I think we could... Oh, yeah. We could probably train our characters. 
I will not do that now because I, you know, I will try to get the maximum hit points. But I will save now and try something else because I go to the armory. Exit. No view item ID. Oh yeah, you don't have enough money, really. Really. It's 19. Fine, my mistake. Yes, I want to take the money. Sometimes the interface is a little cumbersome. So yeah, we take a withdrawal. 200. Yeah, yeah, you can keep the fee, I don't care. Who has the money now? Oh, we probably have to take it. Items ID. Oh, it can't tell me anything about the scrolls. Okay, so I will take a break here and try to level my characters off screen, and we'll see each other s in a second. Okay, I'm back. So let's take a look at the characters. Um, Reckle Dorian now is a level 2 knight, she now has 42 hit points. Uh, that's probably not enough to upgrade her status to the next higher order of the knights. Ah, Rekaldorian is petitioning to become a knight of the sword. Rekaldorian is too inexperienced. Too bad. So we also have Randy Spears, who is now a level 3 fighter, sitting comfortably on 45 hit points. And finally, we have Sylvia Saint, who is now a level 2 cleric with 30 hit points. Okay. Let's begin adventuring. And of course, we get another copy protection 2637. That would be S. Very well. Let's go to the end because I think Sylvia Saint needs to. Memorizing a few more spells now that she's level three, uh, 2. She gets an additional. Yeah, well, great. What does she have? Hmm. Fine, you then take another Cure Light Wounds. That's pretty much it. Do you can... Can you memorize? Yeah, you get a bonus spell. That's awesome, because I think the White Moon is full again. Okay. So you have one sleep. You get another sleep then. And Genevieve Jolie has a magic missile. Gets two sleeps. Do you get any new spells? No. Okay. So how about we should go to the armory? Pull the money. How much do we have? Nineteen. Okay. That should be enough. At least for the next few videos. So, how about we leave again? 
and return to throttle. Okay, but I think this has been going on long enough, so we will take a break here and continue the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.